Direct receipts and direct issues are good for when only a few items need to be adjusted, but they're not powerful enough to handle the entire inventory of your warehouse. Instead, when many adjustments need to be made at once, iPoll allows you to use the cycle count tool to do so efficiently and easily. To begin a cycle count, click on the cycle count page under the stock column on the inventory tab. This brings up a page that shows you all previous cycle counts, as well as the option to choose which warehouse and location you're running your cycle count in, and a button that allows you to run a new cycle count. Clicking on the record number of an existing cycle count allows you to adjust and post the results of that cycle count. Notably, this is how cycle counts made on mobile are ultimately added into the system by clicking on the record and then posting the results of a mobile cycle count. The cycle count page itself lists all the items in the warehouse, sometimes this may be on multiple pages, the number that are expected to be found based on the record, and then an option to set the number that is actually found. You can then see the difference between those numbers in the difference column. Checking the post box causes that section to be posted when you click on the post receipts and issues button. Clicking check all checks all the boxes on a page and uncheck all unchecks all the boxes. When you're done, simply click post receipts and issues and the inventory count will be adjusted to match your cycle count.